Welcome back to New England Living. Up next, it's tuna ceviche Mexican style with one of Boston's best young chefs. Colton Coburnwood is executive chef of one of Boston's newest restaurants, Cosmica, located inside the South End's Revolution Hotel. Inspired by his travels throughout Mexico, he's bringing his affinity for bold flavors and Mexican cuisine to the New England food scene. Whether it's chips and guac or more traditional plated entrees, Chef Coburnwood is delivering his own creative modern take on classic Mexican street food. We're here at the Clark Sub-Zero and Wolf showroom and I am joined by Colton Coburnwood. Colton, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. You're known for Mexican and you have tuna ceviche for us today, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, we're gonna do a charred habanero, watermelon, agua chili, tuna ceviche. What's your favorite part about this dish? My favorite part is that it's really easy to make, but it, it looks complicated in this presentation to really wow your guests. Okay, so it's gonna be simple for us? Very simple, You promise? Yes, okay, yeah. what's the first step? You put the watermelon in the blender, and then you're gonna put in a little cucumber, seeded and peeled, and then you're gonna put a little roasted guajillo chili. You just blend it up a little bit, lime juice and salt. You can see it kind of all, all blending up. And that's about it. You really just want to get it so it's liquidy and you see it has that kind of like nice burnt orange color. So once it's done blending, what's next? So next you're going to get a fine mesh strainer. You're going to take the liquid in your blender and slowly pour it through the mesh strainer. And then with a gloved hand, so you don't have any spicy accidents, you're gonna force the pulp through there until you're left with this really nice, delicate liquid. Once you have your beautiful burnt orange liquid here, you pour some over the tuna, season it with a little salt, you need the salt, and then we're gonna just set that aside to let it sit and marinate, really let all those flavors penetrate the fish. Then we're gonna take this nice chayote and cucumber salad. Chayotes you can find at your local Latin American grocery store. Just dress it a little lime, put that aside a little diced avocado, nice lines like that, and then across, then the lime juice again, surprise, surprise. And that's it, you're good to go. We're just gonna let this stuff sit, rest for a minute, pick up some more flavor, and we'll be ready to plate. While we're waiting on that, tell me how you got into this. I'd always like to cook for my friends in high school and kind of my sisters too. I grew up eating a lot of good Italian and French food, so that was kind of my go-to. But living in California, there was so much Mexican influence, it really wowed me and I was like, this is cool. Decided I wanted to start cooking. My dad was like, okay, I'll send you to school. I started working at a taqueria in Fenway and then it just kind of went from there. I worked at a few French places, but it was always really my passion to learn more about Mexican and have a Mexican restaurant someday. You were born and raised in Massachusetts, and you can tell if you look at one of your menus because there's a lot of seafood. You have crazy tacos on there like fried clam tacos, fried scallop tacos, so you really get creative. My food is kind of untraditional because I'm kind of untraditional, so it's kind of about finding that sweet bridge where you can make two things that are totally not alike somehow come together and make this really nice unity. That's really fun, and I, the fried clam taco is a perfect example of that. Why Mexican food? Mexican food for me, when I first moved to California, I was like, whoa, like this isn't like nachos with sour cream thrown on it and like chopped up olives and stuff. Like this is like a ancient, ancient food culture that goes back to the Mayans and the Aztecs and it's thousands of years old. It's older than Italian food, it's older than French food. And I was always a spice nut and the flavors and like how to make something spicy, but also so good, you know, and that crazy umami thing you can get with like the roasting or the frying of the chilies. It was, it was something else. So it really took my interest. It's evident that when you're cooking, you like to have fun, you like to be playful, yeah. and you're also pretty brave with some of the ingredients that you put together. <laughs> um, how would you define yourself as a chef? I would say I'm not trying to take anything too seriously, you know, and I'm just trying to represent where I come from. Not only that being New England, but my personal experience living in California. And what drives your passion as a chef? Why do you keep on doing this? It really is about that look on the person's face when they have something that you've made that's so yummy and you're like, I made that person feel joy. That's kind of what it's all about at the end of the day for me is pleasing people, it's, it's, it's fun. And now for the fun part, I'm ready to try this food. Yeah, let's try it out. So we got this nice tuna here that's been sitting. Not too much, some of our agua chili here. 
It might separate a little bit, so you just want to stir it. You just pour that over. There's so many colors going on. I know. Oh, I love color. Avocado. And then this little salad kind of goes on there. Little herbs. And there you go. Nice, simple ceviche. You want a little more heat on there, <laughs> a little contrast. Now here it is, our uh, watermelon charred habanero tuna agua chile ceviche. Okay, who needs a fork when you have chips right here? Yeah, so just I'm get just, in there. I'm just gonna dig in. All right, I got a big bite, but I'm not gonna complain about that. Wow, you can taste the watermelon. Yeah. And the chili, I just got some chili, but it's <laughs> delicious. You're tearing up a little bit. <laughs> no, 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 this is absolutely fantastic. I'm crying tears of joy. And you can actually, Try this recipe by going to our website, cbsboston.com slash New England Living. Impress your guests. This is incredible. Can I have some more? Yeah, of All course. All right, thanks.